Champagne, Illinois researchers have observed for the first time the process of nanoparticle self-assembly and crystallization into solid materials. In new videos produced by team, particles are seen raining down, rolling down stair steps, and finally snapping into place to form signature stacked layers of a crystal. The team said these new insights could be used to design new materials, including thin films, for electronic applications. Prior to this work, the researchers used microscopy to self-assemble micron-sized colloidal particles into crystals. There are also extensive theories about atomic, molecular, or ionic building blocks that are 10 to 100 times smaller than nanoparticles. But there is an information gap at the intermediate nanoscale, the researchers said. Recent advances in improving liquid phase TEM have made it possible to visualize nanoparticles in real time as they form solid materials. Chen's team spent years optimizing process so that the electron beam could see particles without damaging them. With advances in liquid phase TEM and data science, in this study, we are now able to capture and track the movements of thousands of nanoparticles over time. In the new study, the researchers used differently shaped nanoparticles, cubes, spheres, and indented cubes to explore how shape influences behavior. We know that atoms use a similar scheme to form crystals, but we've never seen actual growth process, said Lewiton, professor of material science and engineering at Northwestern, who led the theoretical and computational part of study. Now we see it coming together before our eyes. By studying nanoparticles, we are tracking particles larger than atoms, but smaller than colloids. Thus, we have completed the entire range of length scales. We make up for the missing length. In experiments by Illinois graduate students Binbin Luo, Chang Liu, A Yuan Kim, and Zihao Ouyu, particles collided and stuck together to form layers. The particles formed a horizontal layer, and then stacked vertically to form the crystal structure layer by layer. Sometimes, after sticking together, the particles briefly separate and fall into an underlying layer. By further visualizing crystal formation with advanced computer simulations, they confirmed the universal trend of different assembly structures from particles of different sizes. The different shaped nanoparticles we use move and communicate with each other differently when in liquids. To get a unified understanding for the first time, said Luo, first author of the study and a former Illinois graduate student now working at Dow Chemical Company. We sampled growth behaviors from hundreds of liquid phase TEM films. There's a huge amount of information embedded in movies, said OU, a former Illinois graduate student now studying at Stanford University. We've taught our computers to automatically extract the position, shape, and meshes they put together over time, allowing us to translate movies into measurable physical parameters. Kim, a former Illinois graduate student and now at the University of California at Berkeley, said a unique advantage of nanoparticles is that their shape and surface chemistry can be easily changed through synthesis. We stew cubes, spheres, and indented cubes, chasing each other, they disperse differently, which leads to different final shapes of the crystals. This knowledge will help engineers design new materials, Louis had said. Insight can help design thin film materials often used to build flexible electronics, light emitting diodes, transistors, and solar cells. Knowing how the particles come together will allow us to control the shape of the surface, said Luita. Do you want a flat or rough surface? Changing particle shape or changing the rate at which particles fall can affect surface. Chen is also involved in materials research laboratory, chemistry, chemistry, and biomolecular engineering, the Carl R. Woese Institute for Genomic Biology, and U of I.